Hey guys, Ogs here from the US. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Sunday to you and welcome to the channel. If you want to help your brother out, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below. If you want to help financially, the link to our Patreon account also will be in the description. Okay, so in today's transfer news, we are going to talk about uh, Wilfried Zaha. I know it's not the name that uh, many people want to hear, but the link is getting stronger and there is no smoke without fire. So something is happening behind closed door that we don't know. And people misinterpreted what Frank Lampard said in his press conference after the game against Brighton. He never said anything wrong against Zaha. Take a look. Frank, the window's open. Um, just today, highlight the fact that you need new players. There's a lot of talk about Zaha. Would you like him? And would you be willing to include Giroud in a deal with Palace for that to happen? I, I wouldn't talk about Zaha and the, the idea of that deal was something I've never even considered. So, um, when do you like it, potentially? Sorry? When do you like potentially? No, as I say, I won't talk about Zaha because he's, he's not a player of ours. and. Um, if we have to do business, we'll do it in the, in the way that we see fit to try and make us better. And um, that's behind closed doors as opposed to just announcing who we might want to bring in. The journalist asked two questions in one. He said, would you consider the swap deal between Olivier Giroud and Wilfried Zaha? Frank Lampard answer, the deal, I repeat, the deal is not something that I never consider the deal. That means the swap deal between Olivier Giroud and Wilfried Zaha. And he ended up by saying, if we have to do business with Zaha, it has to be behind closed doors. I'm not gonna talk in the media what we are trying to do. Man, come on people. And people will pick up some sentences or some word that uh, please them. So since so many people don't like Zaha to come to Chelsea, that was a perfect opportunity for them to say, oh, it's over. Frank Lampard don't want Zaha and forget about it. He didn't say anything. He likes Zaha. He would like to sign Zaha. I have inside information telling me that Chelsea are working very, very hard to get Zaha. He is on top of the list because we couldn't get the number one target and Zaha is a proven Premier League player and Frank Lampard would like to have him in the team. You like it or not, you dislike my video or not, it's, gonna, it's not going to change anything. This is the reality and just uh, you have to deal with it. Zaha is not my number one priority. Everybody knows about it. I like ZH, I like Sancho, I even like Boga to come back. But the reality is there are so many targets that we can't reach in January and we need somebody now. And Zaha could just be that guy. And the amount of hate this guy is getting online. It looks like 99% of Chelsea fans don't like him for some reason. Uh, they talked about his price tag and all that. Just forget about it. If he can come and do the job, I'm all for it. So I am. Uh, I would be very happy if this guy comes to Chelsea so he, so he can prove people wrong. And Zaha has something to prove. I'm praying that uh, this deal goes through so Zaha can prove people wrong. Because I hate bullies. I hate people who bully other people for no reason. Zaha is just an innocent guy who just uh, playing his football. You like it or not, he's just doing his job. And Chelsea are coming for him. He's not uh, pushing anything. Chelsea decided to go for him and he's getting all the hate and stick that he's getting. That is so unfair. I, I'm not going to flip flop. I will support Zaha. Because I believe he can, uh, he can win us uh, the FA Cup and the Champions League. Yes, call me crazy or whatever you want. But Zaha is here to prove something. 
or people called him a flop at United when he didn't even play. And then he, they are calling him overrated and all that. So Zaha has something to prove and he will prove it at Chelsea if given a chance. And the flip-flop people, they will of course change their mind and start uh, talking good about Zaha. That's what they do, right? So nothing new here. So who is Pini Zayavi? Pini Zayavi is a super agent. He's more powerful than Mino Raiola or George Mendes, but he's always at the background. He doesn't really like the flashy life, the bling bling life like uh, other agent, but he's called Mr. Fix It. You remember the Neymar uh, transfer to Paris Saint-Germain? the Rio Ferdinand, and uh, many, many other transfers that this guy uh, was in charge. So Wilfried Zaha just hired him because he's sick and tired. Last summer, he fired one agent because he couldn't get uh, the move he wanted, and uh, he hired somebody else. And then he just fired that guy and hired Pini Zayavi so he can get this stuff done. And like I said, his nickname is Mixed Fix It. So when this guy got involved in something, normally it's going to get done. He's a good friend of uh, Roman Abramovich. He helped him uh, buy Chelsea Football Club. So that tells you how big this guy is. He's from Israel, uh, the same country as uh, Roman Abramovich. So... This deal, you like it or not, it seems like uh, it's going to happen. But this is not what the fans want to hear, but it is what it is, man. Frank Lampard and the coaching staff decide something, I'll be behind them. Not my first choice, but if he can get the job done, I'm all for it. And the price tag is not what people are making us to believe. It's going to be a swap deal. It's going to be, you know, a player plus uh, some cash or some kind of uh, uh, installment or something will happen that will make this deal a great deal for both parties. Thank you for watching. Be cool like Ngolo Kante and always think outside the box.